When we think that a plant or animal can have many different forms or stages during its life, we are referring to a principle in biology called polymorphism. This principle is very common in nature because it is related to biodiversity, genetic variation, and adaptation. In addition to biology, the concept of polymorphism is used in various contexts and describes situations in which something happens in several different ways. In computing, polymorphism is considered one of the most important elements of object-oriented programming because its definition is strongly linked to inheritance. Remember that inheritance allows us to inherit attributes and methods of another class. By definition, polymorphism is the ability of an object to perform an action in different ways, using the same methods that are implemented differently in various classes. But how does polymorphism work in Java? Polymorphism in Java has two types, compile time polymorphism, also known as static polymorphism, and runtime polymorphism, also known as dynamic polymorphism. The overload method is an example of static polymorphism, while the override method is an example of dynamic polymorphism. In Java, static polymorphism is achieved through method overload. Method overload means that there are several methods present in a class that has the same name, but different types, order, or number of parameters. At compile time, Java knows which method to invoke by checking each method. Let's see this concept through the following example. In this example, there are four versions of the add method. The first method takes two parameters while the second method takes three parameters. For the third and fourth methods, there is a change in the order of parameters. The compiler reviews the methods and decides which one to invoke to call the appropriate method at compile time. Dynamic polymorphism works differently. Suppose we have two classes, vehicle and motorcycle, each with its respective move method. Let's create an object of the vehicle superclass and make a call to the move method. Could we use the same object to refer to the motorcycle subclass? The answer is yes. In fact, in this example, we create an object of class vehicle and then call the move method of this class. Next, we do a reassignment of the object and the class that will be referred to is motorcycle. Later, when we make a call to the move method, the motorcycle move method will be called. To finish, we can say that polymorphism allows us to define different behaviors for an object, depending on the way of its implementation. Also helps build programs that are concise, code shorter than they could be, modular. The unrelated parts of code are kept separate, easy to modify and adapt, for example, when creating new objects. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and remember, learn and share. Thank you.